Hey, what's up? Luke Ramirez here um, with my coach, Luigi Mondelli. Want to introduce yourself? I'm Luigi Mondelli, head coach at American Top Team Connecticut in Four Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Association, together with my wife. We run a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school and we teach mixed martial arts, striking, and self defense. I'm doing research on the benefits and the biomechanics of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mm -hmm. So I want to secure your personal intake of the, the benefits of Jiu Jitsu in your life. So I believe that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specifically. Uh, brings a huge array of benefits and that will include your physical improvement and also the improvement of your health but also your mental health. Mentally I would say it's a great way to deal with anxiety uh, I've seen and I, we have helped many people with depression so I see Jiu Jitsu we have a strong health benefit physical health mental health Plus, people that train Jiu Jitsu learn a really good self defense methodology. Awesome, awesome. That was a great input on, on the benefits of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What do you think of the biomechanics or the human mechanics um, involved in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Okay, so just giving you, you guys a little backstory about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu came from Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Japanese Jiu Jitsu actually originated in India and travel throughout Asia until we arrived in Japan. Originally, they created a method so the smaller and the weaker person could fight a bigger, say, a warrior, a fighter, and etc. It would be really hard for them to defeat them on a hand-to-hand -hand combat, a striking, etc. So they came up with the idea that using different types of leverages in order to do your opponent by taking them down and finishing them with submissions. We work mostly on the ground using a lot of our body, so it's pretty much physics and body mechanics. Everything is based on applying different type of mechanical levers to obtain a better leverage and using the physics and body mechanics to be able to move people around and to attack joint with locks and choke holds. Another question I wanted to ask you was, what do you think is the most, I guess, technical submission or uh, sweep you know, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? I think for who's watching this video, seeing how an arm bar can be applied by a smaller person of his back on the ground, it's a great way to show how, how you apply different, like, like I said, levers will help loop submit me with a joint lock. So imagine that I'm grip, look, have good control. That's the fittings that the first set up here. As I step and I take a long step, I'm still working on my fittings and now I'm breaking Luke's balance by putting his weight over this leg. So from here, as I step, now that's when my leg is gonna work like a lever, going super strong and heavy. So I'm gonna go here, as I'm leaning forward, I'm breaking his balance, that's the second component. And as I sweep, I take him down. So imagine that I took him down, I'll be trying to control him. He will frame here, so that's one part of the body mechanics that's gonna work. 90 degrees angle here to stay strong. He will create distance and do what we call a hip skin. So he moves his hip away from me, and start putting his legs in front of me to create some type of barrier. To keep me under control, he might want to close what we call his bar. So what Luke would do is he's gonna lock his legs around my back so this way I cannot go anywhere. It might look like, well, what can he really do from here? So he will immediately trap my arm and he will pivot a little bit to have two legs controlling my body here. So he pivots, and then he swings his leg over. Now, here's the deal. That's the mechanical part of the finish. He's using his whole body to apply this different type of leverage here to try to break my arm. As he brings his hip up, I tap because he's overextending my elbows. So that shows how jiu-jitsu is so versatile as far as how you can fight off your back and apply these different type of leverages on levers like in place. You place your mechanical levers 
um, well fitted on so many different parts of the human body in order to have this mechanical advantage. In his case, when he grabbed my arm, and my arm was still bent. When he raised his belly, he overextended my elbow. If he keeps going, he will break my arm. Thank you so much for sharing that information with me. That was very educational. I just wanted to ask if you could demonstrate kind of what we do here, what we do it uh, as like roll okay. or spar, and I, I'll have you like narrate. Sounds good. So, so you guys, you guys understand, we don't throw punches and kicks and hits to that just to shorten the distance, grapple, take the fight to the ground. So, we're just gonna play along. We're gonna, we will flow a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna be a real fight, of course, and uh, I'll do my best to be a good partner uh, for Luke. Okay. So my goal is to always get a good grips and bring the fight to the ground. He doesn't want me to have good grips. He, same thing, I'm gonna try to sweep his foot. He can try to set up whatever kickdown he likes to do. He got side control. I'm protecting my neck. I wanna get out of here, right? Meanwhile, he's working his lapel. Trying to protect my back. I'm trying to not let him do it. Let's take him out. The pressure. And my goal is to get to sit on his belly or go to side control, which is to hold him right here. Okay. He's fighting using his legs. Try to put some mechanical Leverage is here to try to push me back. Trying to go for the same setup. Put the hooks in. Turn. Now, because he has the lapel, he can use it to his advantage to try to choke me. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Thank you.